This is the, the newest release, Schmalz Cobot Integrated Pump Unit. Basically, it's an electric-driven pump inside of the housing that, uh, that is controlled by uh, IO-Link. So it should be able to adapt, essentially, to, to really any communication uh, method. What you have here is um, a quick disconnect on the, or a quick change unit on the bottom of it where we can adapt what we call our VEE um, vacuum gripping modules. So basically these can be assembled in a number of different configurations, even expanding out to you know, maybe about a foot and a half by foot and a half or so. Um, they clip onto the bottom with just a, a quarter turn and then, uh, then you screw down the, the set bracket. From there, you would install a robot adapter flange to the top of it that would meet uh, you know, whatever robot you're working with. We have flanges available for basically all types of the smaller collaborative robots and, um, and some of the six axis stuff as well. Um, you know, just because it's called the Cobot Pump doesn't mean it's only used on a collaborative robot. Um, so where's the power cable? So the, the power cable is actually gonna come out just one side here. And uh, this is actually the terminal block style. We do have an M12 connector style as well. So one cable, connect it up, and, and you're off and running. This unit uh, is capable of, of full monitoring uh, everything that's going on. It's only driving throughout a set range of vacuum. So it's not constantly running. It'll kick on, bring up the vacuum again, and then kick off. Um, it'll, it'll go through that monitoring process. Um, it also has a long-term monitoring process, which uh, if it starts to realize that it's not seeing that same vacuum level uh, as it's picking and, and placing product, um, it'll send out a warning into your system and, and you can go and you know, check the cups, make sure something's not torn or damaged, that kind of thing. Basically, this, uh, this unit right now is capable of uh, 12 liters per minute, so it's pretty low flow. Uh, you're gonna wanna be picking non-porous materials with it. Uh, later on, there will, there will be a higher flow version released. Um, we don't really have the specs on that yet, so that's kind of kind of where we're at with it. Um, it's 24 volt DC. It is 24 volt DC. Um, 12? No, I'm sorry. 16 watts is what it requires to drive the pump. Weights about uh, 1.7 pounds or a 0.7 kg without um, without the flanges and all that. So the pump unit itself, 0.7 kg. We have a couple odd items within our range, like a magnetic gripper, for example. Um, that takes a, a momentary compressed air signal on one of the two ports to either activate it or deactivate it. Uh, we've got a number of different size ranges available in that. Um, what this guy is here is what we call our smallest composite gripper, or, or the Series SCG. Um, what this was designed for is picking up like uh, textile materials. So if you've got woven um, carbon fiber or, or textile bags, that kind of stuff. What it does is um, you give it a compressed air supply. This is actually the exhaust here, and it creates a massive amount of flow. It's a low vacuum, but high, high flow. So it's kind of a unique gripper there. Um, for smaller robotic applications, our VEE gripper assembly is, is really, really a nice product because it's very expandable. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Um, this is actually our, our vacuum generator module. So this would adapt, you know, directly to you know, your smaller six-axis or collaborative robot as well. Um, we have all the different flanges available for it. Supply it compressed air. You can um, use one of the auxiliary ports for a blow-off feature if you need to. Um, that was another thing I forgot about the Cobot pump. It does have integrated blow-off as well. So you give it that signal and give it a little puff of air. And, so you can absolutely. Yep. When it goes on, when it turns off, all of it. Most of our products contain NFC code, so you can tap it with your phone, you can bring up the spec sheets, you can bring up the current settings, all the data that's going on, you can do that with that as well. Um, we also have a new, a new feature that was just released at the end of last year, which is a write mode. So say a, a shop foreman or whatever can actually go and, and change those settings, tap it again, and, and it'll change the settings internally. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a pretty neat feature. Yeah, that is.